everyone? Well, it's a pleasure to be back here. We have one, two, three, four, five, about 10, 15 people here. We're going to have some fun. <laughs> Exercise is about fun. Make no mistake about it. Now, my name is Kirk Charles, as Roger mentioned. I'm a certified personal trainer. I work at the New York Sports Club in Montclair. I do some freelance work also. I go to people's homes. I come here to corporations. I'm just spreading the word about health. And my job as a trainer is to help you break through the barriers to achieve supreme physical fitness. That's all I do, whether it's one-on-one, -on -one, in a group setting, I teach classes, I teach a boot camp class at the New York Sports Club, you're all invited, 7.30 p.m. Wednesday evenings. Also 9.30 a.m. Thursday, so I was there this morning, I rushed over here. I assume most of you are working during the day, so you can't come Thursday, but Wednesday evening you are all invited, won't cost you a thing, just come on in and have some fun. What I found regarding physical fitness is that there are about four or five reasons why people don't engage in exercise, but mainly two. Number one, I don't have enough time. All right, I know you're all busy. You're working. You have a family. Maybe you go to school at night. Maybe a whole lot of different things, but you can't seem to carve out that 45 minutes to an hour every day to exercise. It's difficult. That's problem number one. Problem number two is everyone has a rhythm to his or her day. Everyone is like your own personal song. That song keeps playing and playing. It's the same tune over and over. So you wake up, you do certain things, you go to work, you stay at work, you do what you have to do, and then right after work you go home, you deal with whatever issues you have to deal with, then you go to bed and you start the cycle all over again the next day. So that day has a particular rhythm, and if you try to infuse anything different into it, like exercise, you get all flustered because most people understand the concept for change, but they don't want to change anything. So the question is, what if we could come up with an exercise program that didn't take time away from something else and it didn't make you have to change your rhythm or your routine? So thinking about that, I came up with an idea called the two-minute office workout. And it came from originally uh, when I was working, doing uh, telephone calls in a conference center. I would be on the phone with a headset like I have on now, and I would be in my cubicle doing leg lifts. And everybody thought I was crazy. I worked with a lot of young kids at that time. They were in their 20s. Who here is over 50, if you care to admit that? <laughs> Who here is between 40 to 50? 30s? 20s? OK, so we got two 20-year-olds, right? and everyone else is 40 and over. All right, great. Um, I'm a baby boomer, very proud of it. So I service the baby boomer generation a lot. 50, uh, every, all baby boomers will be 50 years old by next year, I believe, correct? So that's sort of my crowd. But I was in the cube, with, and a lot of young kids were looking at me here in their 20s, and I'm doing things like this. And then I started doing some push-ups on the desk. And they're like, Kirk, you're crazy. What is wrong with you? And I kept saying to them, one day you're going to be 45 to 50, and you'll understand why I'm doing what I'm doing. So I was taking advantage of the time that I had in my cube. Also, there are a lot of times during the day where your mind may wander when you're at work. When I had a job and I was sitting down all day, my mind would wander for at least, I hate to admit it, about 30 minutes every hour. <laughs> I'm thinking about something else. I'm on the phone, let me call my mother. I gotta call mom and see how she's doing, right? I mean, I don't see her enough. Well, my sister, I certainly don't see her enough. I gotta call her. Then a friend calls me. Well, I'm obligated to answer the phone. I can't just let him call me. It might be an emergency, right? So all types of things would happen to me during the course of a day, and I wasn't working. So I'm thinking, well, not that any of you are like that because in a 60-minute time frame, you're all working, right? Always, always. There's absolutely no doubt about it. However, during the time that you're working, maybe a 60-second time frame might slip in there where you're just daydreaming. During that 60-second time frame, I want you to do something, and, the, and I call it a two-minute workout. So I came up with this idea, and I've been talking to people about it, talking to people about it, and I want everyone to understand that the primary benefit of exercise is stress reduction. Stress reduction. Who here is under stress? You ever feel like you want to hit something? Do you just want to, like, boom, get a punching bag and go for it and let that stress out? 
When I work out with my um, uh, female clients, I tell them, go ahead, give me a shot, hit me. And they just tap. The men, I leave them alone because they're a little strong. And they just tap me. I said, now imagine I'm your husband. Boom, they go for it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so what I'm saying is that there's a lot of stress out there. There's a lot of tension <laughs> that needs to be relieved. But stress reduction is number one. Number two, injury prevention. Injury prevention. I have knee problems. I have foot problems. I have an elbow problem now. Every day I wake up, there's a different issue. That's what happens when you're 50. It, some, something just breaks down. And I don't know why. It just happens. So just deal with it. But the better you are physical fitness wise, or the stronger you are, the less the tendency to get injured. For instance, you're stepping off of a curb and the knee just does what it wants, what it wants to do, right? You can't control it, all of a sudden you have knee pain. But if you're stronger and you really work on your quads, your hamstrings, your calf muscles, less susceptibility to injury. Those are the two primary benefits. Then after that, then we talk about beautification and looking good and feeling strong and all that. So we have to promote exercise in corporate settings. We have to take advantage of the time that we have. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to uh, be active today. If you have any questions, feel free. I'll entertain all questions. And I want you to get moving. You've got to move. Movement makes you feel better. When I speak in front of crowds, a lot of times I'm walking back and forth, up and down. I'm always moving my hands because I get to release energy. So I like exercises where you move. So I was in my training class today, and I said, everyone, we're going to do like a 180 jump. Now, I'm not asking you to do this in your office, right? But you squat down, jump, and come back. And you do that about 20 times. You start to really feel good after about three or four. It feels good back here in the quads and the back. So the more you move, the better you will feel. And the better you feel, the more productive you will be at work and at home. The less stress you will have, the fewer injuries you will have. Exercise makes everything better. It's the best thing in the world. There's absolutely no doubt about it. There's nothing equal to it. So let's have some fun. Stand up.